Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. I am still using the Scraptastics February 2016 Gale Song kit. Right here I am stamping butterflies on that awful mauve colored cardstock that I do not like. A lot of people do like mauve. I don't. It's I don't I don't like it. So <clears throat> I thought if I stamped some butterflies on there and used it just as a border, it would be great, right? Because then I could use the cardstock, so I'm like stretching myself, and it would be pretty because it has all these butterflies. Yeah, no, that's not what happened. In the end, I don't use this cardstock. It is still sitting in the box with my Scraptastic kit. I have no idea if I'm ever going to use it. What I do end up using is this kind of an aqua e teal cardstock that also came with the kit, and it is beautiful. And I also use this wood grain pink paper by Pink Paisley C'est La Vie Collection number no. nine in this dotted paper by Pink Paisley C'est La Vie, and it is number 12. I end up using a little bit of the fringe paper by Maggie Holmes Bloom Collection called Spring. And then there's also a little tag from the, it was a Scraptastic kit exclusive and it's kind of like a minty aqua burlap. And I don't recall what the name of that paper was. So I can't tell you. The pictures I'm going to scrapbook are pictures of my niece, Tasha, when she came to visit me in June of 2010. And we just went all around Savannah during that trip. And these particular pictures were at Bonaventure Cemetery. And it sounds creepy going through a cemetery, but if you're in Savannah, you need to go to Bonaventure Cemetery. It is gorgeous. So we spent a few hours there on this day. So I used that polka dotted, very tiny dots as a background, which was, like I said, pink paisley number 12. Of course, the border of the background was that aqua e mint uh, cardstock. Right here is that wood grain, and it looks crooked to me. My trimmer does not cut straight. I have got to get a new trimmer. My trimmer is horrible. And so here I am having to use my T-square ruler to get it straight. I don't know what the problem is. I have no clue. I'm blaming it on the trimmer, and that is my story. It is the trimmer's fault. Everything is crooked. So then I line up the lines that I drew on with a pencil, and it does end up coming out straight in the end. I think. <laughs> Mostly? I don't know. I do need a, a new trimmer. This is a Fiskars trimmer. And I think I got it at Michael's. And it was like the cheapest one they had. It was like 10 bucks. Might have got it at Walmart. I don't know. It was like 10 bucks. I got it when I first started scrapbooking. Because I didn't have a trimmer. I just would use scissors. So I thought I needed one. And... You, you really do. <laughs> so I just got the cheapest one they had. So here I am trying to figure out how I want my layout to be. All those butterflies are Scraptastic kit exclusives as well as that pink sparkly lovely word. Right here I'm spelling out Bonaventure on there and that was is with the hardcover thickers. I love those thickers and I'm almost out of them. I just had that one pack. They're kind of wide but skinny at the same time. I really like them. I, I like that font. It's nice. And that is where Bonaventure is going to go. I might play with it for a minute. So, I guess I could have cut some of this fussing around out. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I do end up using all those butterflies in the lovely. Right here I'm pulling out some of the Maggie Holmes flowers that were in the ephemera pack from the Bloom Collection and they came in the kit as well. 
I tried to tuck some under a couple of the butterflies. And it did work. I have two flowers tucked under two different butterflies in the end. Now right there, I was just showing you my glue and my pop dots and the glue dots I was gonna use and saying I'm turning the camera off so I can glue stuff down. And here you see, they didn't get glued down exactly how I thought I was gonna glue them down. One of the flowers is to the bottom left and one of the flowers is at the top underneath that top butterfly. Most of the butterflies stayed exactly where they were. And the lovely is at the bottom of that left picture. On the right is where there is that burlapy looking minty tag sticking out. And then I just wrote on there Tasha's name and the date. I'm not, I think what I'm going to do with the pictures I've been scrapping of my nieces, I think I'm going to take pictures of them and have them print it, ha, take pictures of the layouts and have them printed 12 by 12. And I think I'm going to keep the prints and I think I'm going to send the girls their layouts when, when I get a full book. That's what I think I'm going to do. Right there I'm putting a trip to, and those are gold letters, and they are by Studio Calico. And I should have cut that out. I apologize. And I apologize for my big fat head in the way, as usual. Right here are the Nicole Blingett's enamel dots that I have am fond of, and also the Recollections um, little gems. Now those recollection gems, I tried to put some down and then I took them back up and didn't end up using any of them. I am going to put down several of the enamel dots. I still like to tuck the dots under things and I think it's because these Nicole dots are so large that I don't really love them so much standing out on their own. They're way too big. So I'm going to use some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Black and that is the end of this layout. It's very simple and quick and easy. So thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you next time. Bye! <laughs>